it's so great to see you and I hope that you've been going really well. Thank you for joining us today at Kids Church. My name is Susan and I'm so glad that you've made it. Uh, today is Mission Sunday, one of my most favourite days of the month uh, where we get to learn about all the great things that we've done for people, not only here in Penrith, but all around the world. And um, I hope you're ready to hear that. So let's pray. Lord God, I thank you for those that are listening today. I pray that they will know you, that they know your great love, your never-ending love that you have for them. I pray that they will hear your whisper, that they will know your Holy Spirit and they will know his voice and that they will dream big dreams so then they can change the world around them. And everybody says... Amen. That's right. Do you know today's story that we're going to um, read from is from 1 Timothy and it's actually written by the Apostle Paul and this verse says, Do not let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example for, um, to all believers in, in what you say, in how you live, in your love, in your faith and in your purity. And that is found in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Do you know, this is a pretty important verse in the Bible. And, and um, Paul, I'm not sure if you remember the backstory about Paul, but he was Saul. And Saul hated Christians. And then one day he went out to do something really bad to them. And um, he encountered Jesus. And for three days he was blind. And from that one encounter of our living Lord. He was totally radically saved and his whole life was changed. And from that moment, he went out and preached and teached everybody about Jesus's love and that how he died on the cross and that his grace and mercy. And he reminded all the Gentiles who people that were Jewish that God loves them and um, God has a plan for their lives. And you know, there was a young boy that uh, Paul wrote a letter to and this is the letter that he wrote. He was only young and he needed some encouragement. And so Paul said, do not let anybody look down at you or make fun of you because you are young, because God has got great plans for you. And you know what? We can use this verse as well, because even though that you may be young, God has big, wonderful, amazing plans for your life. All we have to do is open up our heart and say, God, use me. Listen to God's word and let the Holy Spirit whisper and allow you to have big God dreams. And he can do anything with your life. And it will be amazing. How, how fantastic is that? And uh, just like Timothy, um, Paul wanted Timothy to be an example in what he said, in what he did, and how he lived his life. So I hope today that you will be an example in what you do in your life. And you know what? The Bible is full of amazing, everyday, ordinary people that love Jesus, love God and honoured him and allowed the Holy Spirit to whisper in their ear. And they, with God, did an ama amazing stuff. And that's why they're in the Bible. And, you know, we can look to them for examples in the way they lived, what they did, how they, what they spoke and how they changed the world around them. So let's find out a couple of people that are in there. Do you know Samuel was only young when he first heard God's voice. He heard his name saying, Samuel, Samuel. He wasn't sure whose voice that was. And when he found out, he said, I am listening, God. And you know what? We need to know God's voice as well. And um, when we listen and ask Holy Spirit, he will teach us what that voice is. And we can do wonderful things because we're hearing God's voice. Do you know, Josiah was a young man. He was only eight when he became king. And he used his position to change the people because they weren't living the way God wanted them to live. And um, he realized that they weren't doing that. So he changed it and he ripped down all the idols and he brought people back to God and taught them that he loves them. Do you know Daniel? He was only young when he um, had to stand firm in his faith. He knew what God said and he said he knew that what the king wanted him to do wasn't what God wanted him to do. So his faith was tested, but he stood firm and from that he did amazing things in his life. Do you know David? 
was only young when he was a shepherd boy. And in the fields, he would praise God. He would sing. He would pray to him and get to know God. And during this time, he had to protect the sheep. He fought a bear and a lion. And so that gave him courage and strength to stand up to Goliath. So he loved God. And during that time, he was able to develop those skills for what he needed later on in life to stand up to that bully. So he loved God and um, knew him. Do you know, in the New Testament, there was a young boy that used his little, um, his lunchbox and um, he used what was in his lunchbox to honour God. He didn't have much but what he had he said Jesus you take it and Jesus took his uh, fishes and loaves and made a miracle happen and fed over 5,000 people that day. So he didn't have much but he used what he had. Do you know Paul? He wasn't a Christian, but once he was totally radically saved and um, his name was changed from Saul to Paul, he went around and told everybody about God's great love and what Jesus did on the cross for, you, for them. And um, he became one of the most amazing um, preachers that has ever been seen, missionaries that have ever been seen. And he used what he had, he used his voice. You know, even Jesus, when he was young, they found him in the temple because he positioned himself um, in God's house and he used what he had, his knowledge of God, and he taught uh, other people about God. And even the Jews were so shocked that a young boy uh, would know so much about God. But Jesus knew about God because he was his father and he would listen and learn from him. So Jesus positioned himself. Do you know, we can use what we have you know, um, to do amazing stuff for God. Samuel heard God, David um, used his skills and he loved God. You know, we can use a lunchbox. What have you got that you can use? Do you know what I've used? I've used my gardening skills and planted sunflower seeds. Maybe you can do that. And I've used my cooking skills to bless those people in around Penrith and all around the world to change people's lives for missions. And you know what? God wants to remind you that just because you are young, that you don't have to wait till you're older to raise money for missions. Ask God, ask the Holy Spirit to give you great dreams. Say, God, I am open. What would you like me to be? You might have to have courage, just like David. You might have to stand firm in your beliefs, just like Daniel. You might have to give up something, just like the boy with the fishes and loaves. You might have to dream dreams of sunflower fields, just like I did with my sunflowers. Whatever God, you might have to position yourself in church to hear what God has to say for you. But whatever it is, God's got true, something truly amazing, wonderful for you. And when we um, talk to the Holy Spirit, he can do amazing things. I read in the Bible this morning, it says, So I pray that God who gives you all hope will keep you happy and full of peace as you believe in him. May you, be, may you overflow with hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. So I pray today that the Holy Spirit will remind you that God has great things planned for your life. God wants you to do great things for those people around you, whether in Penrith or overseas. God wants you to donate your money so then your money can be expanded and grown to teach people all about him, not only in Australia, but all around the world, that it could turn into Bibles, it can turn into water, it can turn into food. God can do amazing stuff with whatever you have. So I pray today that you will hear God's word, that you will stand firm in your faith, that, that you will know that God wants you to do big, amazing stuff for him. And that when your heart is open, that he will do just that amazing stuff. God bless you and I hope that you will sit down today and just ask the Holy Spirit to give you God dreams. God bless you. I hope that blesses you and I will see you next time. Goodbye.